Welcome to Thermal guys. Today we are doing a bit different video. We are using the thermal videos that I filmed during our Hydraulic Press Channel filming where we use this red hot pressing tool to crush things. First I was thinking about using this thermal videos on Hydraulic Press Channel video but it would be too long and boring for that channel. So I decided to make this totally separate video for this channel. So here is the filming setup. You can see my lights and cameras around the press. Those are my new LED panels. They are quite powerful. And here is the heating apparatus for the steel. It is just regular gas furnace. It is capable of doing about uh, 1400 degrees of Celsius. And here you can see the flame and the inside of that. It was quite hot and I have using a high temperature setting on my camera so you can see the higher temperatures quite clearly but not the like surroundings of the thing. And before to switching to thermal video I can talk about with that bit about that high temperature setting and filming really hot things. Here you can see the toilet paper is already fire even before the thing touches it. And that's because the really intense uh, thermal radiation from the red hot steel and that's the same kind of radiation that our camera is measuring. So, so filming really hot things is a bit like filming light bulb. You can Clearly see the light bulb on the video, but everything around it isn't really visible at all. So yeah, you can mainly see just the hot pressing tool on these videos and then some flames and stuff like that. So let's start the crushing and thermal videos. Here is the installation of the tool. It's straight out of that furnace and the hottest temperature that I get on my software was about 1250 degrees of Celsius, so that was really hot. And here the first one, it's the toilet paper. You can see some outlines of the paper. I'm not sure if it is just reflecting the heat or was it actually that hot. And then yeah, you can see some flames and stuff like that. But you cannot see, for example, those glass streams that came out of that, so those weren't that hot. And here is the eyes. Now you cannot see anything but the red hot pressing tool and then some outlines of that eyes when the thing is sinking into it. So that wasn't a big surprise because it's so cold. And here is that big cola bottle candy in half speed and now you can clearly see how the thing heats up when the press tool approaches it or then it might also be just heat reflecting from cola bottle but it was boiling so I think it's quite hot somebody could maybe check the boiling point of sugar so then we know how hot it was and then you got some flames and stuff like that and this the last one is good reminder for me and all others that you have to focus your camera even if that's thermal camera. This is the crushing of the soap block unfocused so you cannot see anything with that. I thought that the camera was an autofocus but it wasn't so this wasn't focused. So you got this psychedelic picture. Yeah, but I think that was all for today. We had a bit different video this time. And next time when filming something this hot, I think that I might should use the medium setting of the thing. Because then I give details from things burning and exploding. Because the medium setting is up to... 600 so that gives quite good compromise from anything but that is all for today thank you for watching and 
Have a nice day.